Hi, this is Venkat from Kashiv Infotech Company. Today I'm going to talk about lots and lots of areas on cyber security laws. So all the cyber security laws comes under Indian Penal Code. So we are going to talk about lots and lots of sections on Indian Penal Code under cyber security. Many people they used to ask me a question, sir, like uh, I've typed something wrong about a person. So defamation of some information in YouTube comments or can be an email or something like that. Is it wrong under uh, Indian Penal Code? That's the usual question they will ask. Sir, I took a photograph of a, like, of a girl like without her concern, sir. Is it wrong? Sir, like I made a gesture, sir. I made a gesture on a person. Okay, is it wrong? So we are going to talk about all these stuff like which one is wrong and which one is correct in this particular video. Let's move on. So this is on a very important section sale of obscene materials you may ask me what is obscene material An unwanted materials or a sexual materials of an individual maybe a child maybe a woman or maybe anyone so we are not supposed to produce or transmit such kind of materials without any concerns and they are not supposed to do it that's it straightforward it is coming under the section 292 of Indian Penal Code so the offenders will be getting a punishment of two years of imprisonment with a 2000 fine or maybe both and if he's an habitual offender first time is a two years of imprisonment if he's an habitual offender for the second time following the second time they will be getting an imprisonment of five years or maybe a fine of five thousand or maybe both so this is considered a serious crime and you are not supposed to produce or transmit any kind of obscene material or sexual materials via digital medium Let's talk about the section 354C of Indian Penal Code. So without the concern of a girl, if someone is taking a picture, so we are not supposed to take a picture of the entire person or the private parts of the woman. So if someone is taking like that, it is, it is a crime under the section 354C of Indian Penal Code. If the person is a first time offender, they'll be getting an imprisonment of one to three years. And if it is an habitual offender, the second time or third time offenders, they'll be getting an imprisonment of three to seven years. So we are not supposed to take any pictures of an individual or a woman without the consent of them. If someone is insulting, threatening, label, sexual harassment, anything is happening on a person without their concern, it is considered stalking. The crime is called stalking. And if it is done via an electronic medium, via email or something like that, the threatening via an email, insulting via email or any other medium or digital medium, then it is called a cyber stalking. It is coming under the section 354D of Indian Penal Code. And it is considered a serious crime with the three years of imprisonment for the first time offenders and it is like a habitual offenders, they will be getting an imprisonment of five years. So you are not supposed to do anything via digitally or any means, physically. Now let's talk about these stolen properties. So someone is asking me a question to me like is there is a, like a considering my, my mobile is gone or my computer is gone, my data is stolen. Under what section I can file a case, sir? The section is a 379 of Indian Penal Code. Under this section, if the data is stolen from a hardware or a mobile, so it is considered as a crime, which comes under a three years of imprisonment. So we are not supposed to take others' data. If it is stolen, they can claim you have imprisonment for three up to three years or maybe a fine or both okay under section 379 of indian penal code so this is the consecutive law i'm going to talk about the offenses of stealing something the data is coming under the section 379 i would discuss about this and if considering like a person stole the data and give to some other person this guy is not a direct offender but as an indirect offender this guy is holding this stolen data whether it's offense or not yes it is an offense coming under the section 411 
with the three years of same three years of imprisonment and fine or maybe both okay so you are not supposed to have this stolen data so that's how your indian penal code is suggesting okay it is a crime under section 411 So now I'm going to talk about a very important section like in cyber crime the people are doing some of the mischievous activities fake websites fake emails extracting or hacking the passwords of others so these are all coming under fraud okay so if someone is doing such kind of frauds it is purely a crime okay so and it is coming under the section 419 okay and inducing the people to make such kind of activities is coming under 420 so this kind of fraud activities okay like uh, email spamming and the website uh, like a spam websites creations or uh, hacking the passwords they will be you'll be getting an imprisonment of one to three years for this punishment of fraud and inducing them and making them to get their personal details became a 420 section it is little bit of advanced fraud so obviously they'll be getting an imprisonment of three to seven years okay so you should be really careful with like and you should you are not supposed to do such kind of activities now let's talk about a very important section 465 Okay, so based on the forgery of documents or forgery of emails, on behalf of someone, I'm sending an email. On behalf of my friend, I'm signing an agreement. Okay, digital signatures or any digital format forging, forging other people, representing other people. So that is called as, that is coming under the crime forgery. You'll be getting a punishment of at least two years with a fine or both. Okay, so this is coming under crime. An imprisonment of two years with a fine and apart from that it's coming under the section 465 of Indian Penal Code. Now I'm going to talk about the continuity of 465 section of Indian Penal Code. Why we are doing this one? The reason is like this forgery is done for, for a great mischievous activity. For a great offense, this is a starting point. The forgery is the starting point. So for cheating, this is a starting point. For doing a mischievous activity, this is a starting point. In that case, the, the final end of a, the consequence of your forgery, the consequence of forgery is coming under the section 468 of Indian Penal Code. So you'll be getting an imprisonment of seven years or more. So I told about the 465 which is forgery. The forgery consequence can be like a severe or serious offense that is 468 I told. And there is another section 469 it is a mild offense. Okay so the forgery is done for like, a, like a removing or disturbing the reputation of an individual by an electronic format or physically we are doing such kind of forgery in that case it's coming under 469 of Indian Penal Code and the, the imprisonment is almost three years with fine or both so I told about the defamation now right the same defamation is a kind of a mild case instead of forgery sir I didn't do forgery sir but it is a defamation of an individual my friends used to send a lot of messages in YouTube, sir. They are sending an email, sir. Any defamation done on an individual without his concern, okay, via like uh, some uh, commenting on the channels or commenting on the websites or sending an email, any kind of electronic format making a defamation will have a two years of imprisonment under the section 500 of Indian Penal Code. Sir, it's not the defamation, sir, but they insulted the person, sir, or they threatening the person, sir, by an electronic medium. Is it an offense or not? Absolutely. It is an offense. So insulting a person or threatening the person via a digital format like emails or commenting on the websites or something like that, it is coming under the section 504 with the two years of imprisonment. So this is the section, just note it on, it's a 504 of Indian Penal Code. To the next. 
sir insulting sir or threatening is okay but beyond if they are doing something beyond for the life of life of a person okay or destroying their property i hacked an email account sir i destroyed it then it became a serious offense under the section 506 of indian penal code okay so we are not supposed to threaten a person and still threatening towards the end of their life it is happening beyond then it will be a more serious crime with seven years of imprisonment under the section 506 of indian penal code so let's talk about a very important section 509 of indian penal code so what is this section sir i uttered a word a wrong word on a person i've done some gestures sir so i'm doing some like uh, gestures uh, it is affecting the modesty of a woman is it a crime absolutely it is considered a crime under section 509 of indian penal code with a one year of imprisonment so you are not supposed to utter any bad words or utter any unwanted words on others you should not supposed to do any gestures on others and it should not affect any modesty of a woman that is very very important any defamation for a pers woman personally so it is coming under the section 509 of Indian Penal Code. Hope you understood the cyber laws under Indian Penal Code. Now let's talk about like the precautionary measures. The first thing is like you are not so the social media is unsafe forever. Please do not have any private photographs. Okay, if it is hacked, then it's a big problem for you. So do not have any private photographs or private stuffs into the social media one. The second thing is like while saving your password in the browsers, an automatic login can be avoided. Every time while logging in, put your passwords, okay, so that your password will be secured. The third thing, have the password stronger. My name is Winked. I can have the password as Winked1234. Don't have like that. Okay, because the guessing of password should not happen. The hackers should not guess your passwords and do not click any unwanted links. Reebok showroom or Reebok shoes for 500 rupees. You'll be getting a 5000 offer or your account is hacked. They'll be sending some links to you. Do not click any unwanted links. And finally, like if it is hacked, relax. The first thing is like change your passwords, deactivate the account or report to the like a particular company like an Insta account is hacked. Inform to the Instagram account, like your account is act deactivated. And you need to attach your government proof that you are the correct person or you are the owner of that ID. And finally, like you try to like file a complaint. In every district, you'll be having the like a cybercrime department with a, like a SI, like a superintendent of like a, you'll be having a sub inspector, you got the inspector grade, and you got superintendent of police for cybercrime itself. So talk to them, convey the information that your account is hacked. Because on behalf of you, like your mail ID, using your mail ID, they may do some mischievous activities. Okay, there'll be, there may be a problem for you for not doing it. Okay, on behalf of you, they may do some spoofing activity. Okay, it's advisable to comply to the cybercrime immediately once your account is hacked and if you couldn't recover it. And you'll be having a proof that your record is hacked so you have you have not done anything beyond the date okay that's how you can safeguard yourself so hope you learned about the cyber laws and apart from that like uh, let's obey the laws let's learn it let's transform it let's share to everyone so once if you start learning it you will start transforming yourself and you will start transforming the society so this is Venkat signing off Wiki Tiki and Kashi and Product. Hope you enjoy my video. Please share my videos to your friends and everyone. Let's share something good to everyone. Jai Hind.